Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a, um, just showing you my new fleeces and where I got them from and how much they were because someone said in the comments and, um, yeah, this is mostly what they got for Christmas, so pretty much they just got fleeces. So, um, I guess it's kind of a Christmas haul. So, um, sorry, I don't know where this one's from. Um, I think it was from Primark. I'm pretty sure it was, so it probably would have been about three pound, okay? And then this is this one. So it's got mirrors, gloves, perfume, um, hats, shoes. So it's a very girly one. And uh, this is like, you know normal fleeces are kind of like this texture, they're not really fluffy. These are lovely, they're so much softer. Um, and they're really nice. I don't know if they like soak up the pee or anything, but I love them. I never put like towels underneath because all my fleeces, like my guinea pigs, don't pee that much. So, um, and it doesn't matter if they smell too much because they're outside, but they don't smell anyway. And um, I'm pr because I double over the fleece or like triple it over because it's so big compared to my hutch. Um, so yeah, I kind of don't need it, but um, yeah, it is white, so that's a bit bad, but. It's okay. What I do is actually I'll tell you when I go to the rabbit hutch because there's some in there which I need to show you. Then again another white one with like kind of reds and pinks and yellows, just like flowers. And these were both seven pound each, so they were quite expensive, but they're huge and super soft. And they were from Dunhill Mill, seven pound each, and yeah, they're really big. We oh, okay. I can't be asked though, like unfold them also yeah and then this one was from Primark it was I can't remember it was either six or three pound and it's a it's brown it's a brown zebra print and um yeah and then I'll show you the one in the pig the hutches and that so this is like my favorite one Whoa. this is another like soft material one um another seven pound one I've got it doubled over um, it's a Union Jack, as you can see, but because it's halved over, you can't really see it that well. But it is a Union Jack. Um, it's lovely. It's like a Union Jack in like little colours and butterflies. And this side's the uh, non-pink side. The other side's much pinker. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to flip it over. And um, halfway through the week, I just flip this over, so you get the clean side, and then I wash them once a week, and it seems to work well. And I would show you Piggy, but she's being a bit antisocial. And sorry, I'm not like editing out all like the journeys you could call them because um, I'm too lazy. And you're probably getting fed up with all these videos, but um, I just don't need to edit them. I just record them, press upload, and that's it. So yeah, that's cool. So let's go to the rabbit hutch now. So today they've got um, just a normal looking fleece look, they always sit up here in a line, it's just adorable. We've run out of hay, which is sad. So I'll start with this one, this was from Pets at Home, it was like £4 I think. And um, it's like, I can't remember what you call it, is it tartan? I think it's tartan, but it's not like the red and green and that, it's um, I can't tell whether it's brown or grey. I think it's brown. Brown and pink. And um, yeah, I love this fleece. It's a bit small. So I can't really double it over in the guinea pig hutch, which is why I don't use it in there because it doesn't absorb the pee enough. But yeah, I love this fleece. <laughs> love the colour of it. So that was pets at home. And then this one. Oh, you're so pretty. Is um, a, another Primark one. It was £3, I think from Primark and um, yeah it's doubled over and it's still too big as you can see like goes over oh look here it is Primark oh you're such a cutie you're so cute so um th there are all the fleeces other than some oh did I get that on camera? I hope I did he just yawned but um other than all the boring brown ones and the ferret ones that's all my fleeces 
So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.